Hello Cancer, this is your X reading for the 7th or the 13th. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new, welcome to the channel. Please hit the like button, share the video, and subscribe. Hmm. Hmm. A lot of you are just trying to, you know, do things that make you happy. Address whatever fears you guys um, have had or are having. I'm trying to stimulate some growth in your life, just changing things up a bit, I feel. Okay. So my cards that fell out there, that's why I paused. Let's see. Oh, okay. Jumping now. Five of Wands there. <clears throat> I feel like you guys are currently, um, there's something that you're thinking about, something that's weighing heavily on your mind, I feel. Um, and maybe you're having like some disagreements with someone at work maybe or it could be with you know this situation involving your ex even okay whether or not you know you did all that you could or you know they did all that they could that sort of thing but i feel like you know you're trying to you're just working things out within yourself you know not really speaking much i don't feel but um just kind of coming to grips with things is what I'm feeling, okay? Let's see what their current situation is. Cancer's ex current situation. What is that? Let's see what they've got going on. Um, they're doing some healing. They're definitely doing some healing. I think they are reflecting on some things in the past as well. You know, trying to see what their next steps are going to be. Uh, I feel like this person really wants to talk about um, something with you. Yeah, then we have the Knight of Swords there. They're not really sure of themselves, though. They're kind of like going back and forth, like, about like you are. Kind of like, you know, throwing around some things in your head, thinking about it, um, and just trying to figure out, you know, what their next move is, what should they do. But um, definitely going through some healing, some changes, I feel, too, as you are. Let's see how you perceive your ex here. How does Cancer perceive their ex? How does Cancer perceive their ex? Hmm, see the Six of Cups there. Soulmate energy. Maybe you guys are thinking about reuniting. Um, but I feel like this person did some things that you just cannot get with here. Um, either you feel like they lied to you, cheated on you. Sorry. I set my cup there. Water on the table. Hang on, guys. Um... But all in all, you feel like, you know, they left and um, they were only concerned with themselves when they left. Um, so, you know, I think that's kind of what you're thinking about right now. And I feel like you guys are just wanting to move on, do something different here. But, you know, all in all, it's still there, you know, in your mind. You're thinking about it. Their perception of you is a ten of wands that you've had enough. That you're not dealing with it anymore. And you're moving on. You're taking, you know... <clears throat> taking you know your your yourself out of the situation that you feel you have you know carried the weight of this relationship and all its issues and um, you're just letting it go you know you've had enough you're done with it okay that's how they perceive you let's see what you guys your feelings are about getting back together so the nine of pentacles there so I feel like a lot of you are just um, you know just trying to focus on yourself right now loving yourself treating yourself well okay then i see the star there healing for sure for sure let's see how you guys are feeling about getting back together hmm you're still dealing with some things here um and i think that you know you're really just trying to basically tell yourself and realize that it wasn't your fault whatever this person did um, it's not your fault, okay? Um, and just let it allowing allowing whatever happened, whatever they did, um, to be their issue. And I think that's kind of where that struggle comes from. It's like you know you're trying to accept your responsibility in this situation, but at the same time, you know it's not up to you to take on or accept everything that went wrong. Or, or hold yourself responsible for how, you know, the other person behaved in this situation, okay? And I think that's what you're doing. Um, that's still there. So I, right now, I don't think that you are, you are open to it, to getting back together is what I'm getting here. Because 
you know, what whatever this person did or you feel like they did, um, you're just not with it at this point, okay? Um, this person definitely wants to get back together, I feel. I feel like they definitely want to reunite with you. Um, they can see themselves being in a long-term relationship with you, being married to you even. Definitely. They, they see stability with you. They see happiness with you guys. Okay. Let's see what you guys can do. I see the Six of Cups there as I split the deck. <clears throat> what can Cancer do? Cancers do to move this situation along here. Mm, Ace of Swords. Speak your truth. For sure. And find balance and harmony within yourself here. Um, because again, we have you, you know, here needing to really kind of reconcile, you know, how you're feeling about this situation, forgiving yourself, forgiving, forgiving this person, not necessarily like, you know, reuniting with them or reconnecting with them, but, you know, at, at least, you know, having that level of forgiveness. Okay. So you can move on if that is indeed what you want to do, how you can help, hmm, address your fears. Turn your back on those fears, okay? Because that's what strength is. Strength is addressing the fears. It's addressing your fears. Currently, I see you still looking at what this person has done, thinking about it, um, and not really like addressing, you know, your own issues of, you know, maybe taking all the blame yourself or that somebody is going to hurt you like this again or this person is going to hurt you like this again even because here we're talking about your ex okay um addressing the ruminating thoughts um those things that are maybe you you are like over exaggerating you know those types of things anything that you do not like is that devil energy addressing those issues okay so let's see what they can do to bring this thing back together. Nine of Cups, let's split the deck. Mm. Come towards you. Make an offer. Make one that, you know, you can't argue with. You know what I'm saying? Like, if they love you, they either tell you that. And they either tell you that in a hurry. Let's see. What can they do? Be open and honest about their feelings, okay? As I just said, be open and honest about their feelings. Really think about what it is that they need to do here. You know, choose their steps wisely. Choose their words wisely. Because I, I get that this person, you know, right now they're walking on eggshells. And they probably need to, you know, because I don't think, you know, whatever they've done is still right there, you know. You haven't forgotten about it. Mm -mm. Let's see what is the potential outcome for Cancer and their ex. What is the potential outcome for Cancer and their ex? Six of Wands, success. Victory. Getting back together. Being attracted to each other. Um, and, and just moving on. Having a, a, a successful relationship. I can't even talk. Okay, guys, so we have Leo, Capricorn, um, maybe Pisces, Aquarius, Sagittarius energy is here, Aries is here as well, okay? So that's what I have for you guys, and I will be speaking with you soon.